parents have said it already so i can't be better off than this and then before you know the child starts developing low self-esteem not trying his best like you said earlier nobody wants to live in a place where you're not appreciated mm, mm. There, there there's a place of correction but who gives you the right to even judge people even mm. condemn people mm -hmm. the bible is clear about it the measure you use to judge somebody is the same measure that will be judged mm. uh, that will be used um, for you, you. Mm. like I, yesterday when we we're talking about land i said something if you pray for people it's, you'll find it difficult to talk about them or mm. even judge them mm. but the moment you don't pray for people it's easy when the person passes you say look at him with his head like this look mm. at her but imagine you putting her in that position where you always pray for her mm. like if there's condemnation they won't be growth mm. they won't See, be growth the bible says we are created in the image and the likeness of god mm. and joyce when you say something is condemned do you know what that means mm. is beyond you there's no beyond hope. there's no look at this phone now mm. i'm using it and i'm monitoring what we're doing online mm. while the show is on so I pick the phone and the phone falls from my hand mm. and it falls down and it shatters. Mm. And I'm told that the phone is condemned. Mm. What, what do I do at that point? I throw it away. Mm. So how can somebody tell you that you are condemned but you are still alive and you are still going to work and you are still doing things that you are doing? How can somebody condemn you like that? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Not, you are not condemned, mm. son. Mm. Mm. It's statement from people mm. that does not define who you are mm. you see i have said this before and i'll say it again the christian is the most stubborn person that god has created you see this christian is the most stubborn person that god has created stubborn to circumstances and situations yet mm. humble to the will of god mm. if you are not stubborn as a christian you cannot live a good life in this generation that we are living mm. look at what she said when you pass people say look at your head like this mm. when you do the right thing people will, dis they, they will condemn it mm. when you say something people will say it's not right mm. when you share the word of god people will say even them they know the word of god this one that mm. you said is wrong it's wrong mm. when you refuse to share they will say you know the word of god you are refusing to share when you hug a sister they are going to sleep together mm. when you stay away this man is wicked he's not friendly we live in a world that is so filled mm. with condemnation. Mm. Condemnation from people you love. Mm. Condemnation even from enemies. Condemnation from loved ones. Mm. Condemnation from colleagues. Condemnation from... There's every angle you go to, people mm. don't have anything to say. If you are not stubborn as a Christian mm. to resist such things, how can you survive? Mm. It's not possible. That is why people break down. That's why people fall. That's why people quit. Mm. That is why you see... You don't you stop seeing people suddenly mm. tell you ah, have you been around yeah so i mm. just i'm in my shell mm. Mm. doing what nobody Minding is my business nobody is i'm drinking water that's what they say mm -hmm. nobody is created to live in a shell mm. you will eat sir there's no food in the shell mm. there's no money in the shell there are no friends in the shell mm. so you live in isolation of people even the Bible says you should not forsake the gathering of the saints. That mm. means once in a while. <laughs> well, that means, yes. Mm. You see, but the point is, just like she said, there is a condemnation that can come from you. Mm. I will also want to say this again. You have to be strong for yourself. Mm. So that when the condemnation is coming from the mm. same source, the mm. strength is also arising above it. Mm. Why would I wake up and condemn myself and say, ha, ah, yeah, this thing that people have said, or this thing that has been done to me, or this, why won't I just go and jump in Lamingo Dam and die? Mm. Mm. I've not only condemned myself, but mm. I've executed myself mm. ahead of time. Mm. What people do, do, fail to understand is, Joyce, have you ever been in a relationship that you broke up yes. in the relationship, you, you got out? Do you remember the date that you got out of that relationship? No, I can't remember. Okay, but you know if you go back, you can go and check and know the date, right? Yes. Do you know that that date that you left that relationship was not the day that you quit? Mm. You quit before you said it. Yes. Mm. Maybe you started seeing him with uh, Linda. <laughs> and he said, no, she's a nice person. We're just friends. Mm. You started seeing him with Martha. Mm. Huh? Can't I have friends too? You started seeing him with Abigail. 
They don't name people Abigail anymore. I don't know Abigail. <laughs> they still do. They still do. But you start seeing with Abigail. You start seeing with... And then you... That time that you are talking against what he's doing mm. and you are uncomfortable about it, that is when you started re leaving the relationship. <laughs> the day you left, you just announced it. Mm. It's the same thing with all these things that we're talking about. When you start condemning yourself by yourself, mm. the day that you go and execute yourself or go and commit that uh, 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 suicide mm. or whatever you want to do to take your life, mm. it was not that day that you decided to do it. Mm. It was an accumulation of negative thoughts. Yes. Mm. If you are watching this show and you have accumulated thoughts that are not positive, mm. you should go back to the word and start the bible says do not be conformed by this to this world mm. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind mm. what is the renewing of your mind if the bible says let the word of god richly dwell in you mm. what does that mean let it brainwash you mm. Mm. that is what it means let it brainwash you if the bible says you see i i will not stop saying this the bible says i'm the righteousness of god in christ jesus mm. any other thing you say about me solo it i don't care mm. Mm. See, I didn't say I don't care. I said I don't care. Mm. <laughs> if the Bible says I am the righteousness of God in Christ, that's who I am. Any definition you gave me mm. or my personality mm. is you and the definition mm. that are defining me. Just two of you there. Mm. But if the Bible says I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, if the Bible says greater is he that dwells on my inside than he that's in the world, mm. these are the things that I stand upon. Mm. To live my life mm. not condemnation sir of course not everybody has grown to this level mm. but if you are watching the show we want you to grow to this level mm. that you pick your source of livelihood from the word, the of, word god. of god yeah. that is the only the definition about your life mm. the manual of life is there it's embedded there who you are is in the word of God. Mm. So if you don't go to the word of God to find out who you are, people mm. will define you and you live by it. Sure. And when people define you, you don't live as long. Even if you live long, you won't live well. Mm. You live with regret. Have you met people that are very, very sick, but every test that can be conducted in the hospital was conducted and nothing seen? Haven't you met ailments like that? Mm. What do you think is the problem? Mm. It's something that the physical eyes cannot, cannot see. see. Mm. Where do you run to? The word of God. Mm. That is why you have to decorate your interior with God's word. Mm. The Bible says, guard your heart diligently because out of mm. it, see the reason, mm. out of it comes, comes the, the issues, issues of, of life. life. Mm. But you know what? Young people these days, the things that are in our hearts, dressing mm. what is the new drug that can get you high mm. do you have a girlfriend that you'll be having sexual uh, uh, uh relationship with every now and then mm. are you what is the new drink mm. that can give you this kind of uh, 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 feeling these are the things that young people are concerned about mm. these are the things that settle in your heart these are the musicians you want to listen to these lyrics you want to listen to this. You want to know all the songs, yet you don't know every scripture. Mm. Mm. When you are faced with the issues that are of the same negativity as these things that you have imbibed, mm. how can you deal with that? Mm. There are people that, uh, what, what did they not say about Jesus? Mm. Do you know, out of all the things that they said about Jesus, the Bible says he went about doing good things. You know, when we you were about. talking about the fact that okay, I'm the righteousness of God, people will talk about you. The only place that you exempt yourself and you even get to live your life in accordance to God's will is when you know God's ideal plan for you. You know the word of God. Mm -hmm. Like we live in a time where a lot are happening. Mm -hmm. You mentioned some of the vices, drugs, all of that. If you are not deep in the knowledge of the word of god mm. then when people condemn you 
you mm. can easily accept w the position in mm. which they have placed mm. you mm. and that's when you start finding yourself in that place of feeling guilt the shame the regret the fear and even the thoughts of oh let me just commit suicide mm. because at the point you start thinking of committing suicide taking your life that means you feel that yes i'm already condemned mm. like there's nothing good that's going mm. to come mm. out of me mm. but the time that people look at you and say look this, look at this person. She's just a dull girl. He's just a dull uh, person that he speaks slowly. It means he's not a smart person. Mm. But you that knows yourself and you know God's ideal plan for you. Mm. Like regardless of regardless of whatever people are saying, you keep moving. Mm. You keep moving. A story was told of an evangelist that while growing up, people, his teachers, and then they kept saying that he's a dull child. Like they tried all their best, but he's not learning. Today as we speak, he's a professor. Mm. And an um, evangelist mm. as well. Like he's doing book, well, very well. He has written a lot of books mm. that are even impacting um, like this generation. Mm. So by the time you understand God's purpose and ideal plan for your life, regardless of what people say, you mm. keep speaking to yourself. Mm. I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the head and not the tail. Too. Even when they look at you and say you are nothing, like nothing good will come out mm. of you. Mm. You will say, no, God's plan for my life, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, mm. is for good and not for evil. Mm. So whatever people say about you will not even weigh you down. Mm. You will live in accordance with what God has said about mm. you. Like I keep telling people, sometimes someone will look at you and say, uh, maybe you're struggling with a sin and say, See, hellfire straight. Mm -hmm. Like God loves us. His plan is not for you to remain condemned. Mm. He has a punishment for sin. Yes, but there's a way of escape mm. from this condemnation. Mm. And where can you find this escape? Recognize the place of God. Go back to him. Repent. And look at the story of the woman that was reported. Uh, uh, when Jesus was teaching in the temple, the Pharisees and the scribes came and said, this woman committed adultery. And based on the law of Moses, she should be stoned to stoned death. Dead. And then they wanted to hold him uh, by his word. Mm. But what did Jesus do? He knelt down and wrote on the ground. And he, they were asking, they were curious about it. And he said, anyone that is without sin should cast the first stone. Mm. One after the other, they all left. And then he asked the woman, where are the people condemning you? Mm. They are not here. He said he's not even in a position to condemn her. Mm. She should go and sin no sin more. No more. Yeah. He has provided a way of escape. If mm. God's plan is for us to remain condemned, then he won't even send his son for us. No. I wanted to say to that. Die. So mm. for, that's, that's to show you how God loves us. And then his plan for us is not for us to remain condemned or mm. to be feeling condemned, mm. to live in our <laughs> guilt, to live in our shame. Like we're talking about the implication, the pain of living in that condemnation. Mm. You won't grow. You will live depressed. Mm. You will live worried. But have you not seen people that even if they don't have money in their pocket, they are so happy that you're mm. wondering, ah, mm. what's happened to this person? Imagine with the inflation and everything, but this person is just living happy. Like when you understand God's ideal plan for mm. you, when you find your joy and solace in Christ, like nothing will bother you regardless of what anybody thinks or say about you mm. like you won't even allow that to weigh mm. you down but you try to live above all these um circumstances all these words that people have said about you all the things you keep hearing it won't even matter to you at all mm. joyce see, mm, sorry solo before you make your point see what the bible says psalms 130 <laughs> in uh verse 2 it say is verse 3 like if thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? No one. That means he's not marking. Mm. He's not marking. If he's marking, he knows. Mm. He knows. He knows that there is a pastor that is doing well. Mm. But he has a problem of stealing from the offering. He knows that there is a bishop mm. that is doing well. But he has a problem of fornication. Mm. He knows that there is a governor doing well in his state, but he's sponsoring terrorism. Mm. He knows. You know. What do we do, sir, in most cases? Mm. Do you know what we do? You, are, you have strength in the issue of women. Mm. You don't like women. You don't do anything. You are, you are very close to your wife. You are very strong with that. You can never look at another woman. But if they leave you with people's money, you are a King Kong in spending it. Who is King Kong again? In church. Do you understand that? Yes. So you will start condemning her that is married and she's following other men. 
That is the kind of gospel that everybody is preaching now. Mm. People don't preach against what they do. Mm. How come? So who is, is, the Bible is asking that if God decides to measure iniquity, who will stand? That means he's not measuring. Mm. Because nobody will stand. Mm. What did the woman tell Jesus at the well? Say all these people have condemned me, so you too, you came to condemn me. What did Jesus tell I say me, mm. condemn you? Mm. He said, I don't have power to condemn you. Mm. I can't condemn you. What mm. did you do to me that I condemned you? You are just living your life. Mm. Had she met Jesus before all these men in her life, just maybe she wouldn't have been married. Mm. They say, Reverend Fathers, don't touch women. They don't do. We know some of them that glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. If God will measure iniquity, so know who will stand. Mm. I want everybody to understand this scripture that in, in a nutshell, we are just living under the grace of God. Under the mercies mm. of God. That's mm. why Paul asks, shall we continue to live in sin? Because there, there is grace. The answer is definitely no. Mm. Joyce said something. She said, everything will be punished. I agree. Mm. But the sin that you ask for forgiveness, is a Lord, mm. I know that I'm human. My, my flesh showed up here mm. and I fell. Mm. And I asked for your favor. I asked for your mercy. Mm. And I asked that you give me new lease on life. Mm. Today I'm going out. I don't even know what, what, what the day holds for me. Mm. But because I know you, mm. I believe that the day ha holds something great mm. for me. Mm. I go out in the power of your might. In mm. Jesus' name, mm. Amen. See, sir. That's it. Let me respond to something you said, Lloyd Joyce. <clears throat> he said, Allah. All of these people that are saying you are condemned because you talk slow. Go to terminals. This is our market. Mm. There are very many fast talkers that are poor. Mm. It's not by talking fast. Mm. It's not by talking fast. Mm. If I let me read the scripture, it is not of him that runneth or even won the race. Mm. It, is, it is the Lord that showeth mercy. Mm. So when people say, This is who you are, mm. the response that you get from the word of God is not for you to read it to them. Mm. No, no, it's not, it's not when people say, you, we know you. You are Equa TV. You are doing this, but we know you. Most sanctified. We know your character. We know who you are. Even if they are telling the truth, don't respond. There is a powerful place to respond. Is that closet in your house where you kneel down to pray? Mm -hmm. That is why you say, Lord, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are saying it to yourself. A fact is an affirmation. It's an affirmation. This is who I am. Not who Sister Gloria said I am. Not who Brother Dave said I am. No. God, this is who I am. I stand upon your word and declare. Mm. That is how you get strength. But when you tell them, you just engage yourself in a shouting competition. Mm. But the reality of it is this word will not live in you. Mm. But when you go down on your knees, on that your prayer closet, and you say, God, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Whatever they say about me does not matter. What you say about me, God is not about to say something different mm. other than what he has said already. Said already. What you say about me mm. is what I believe, is who I am. Mm. You wear trousers, they say you go to hell. Mm. But we see the, the, the same people who say people who wear trousers will go to hell. Mm. When they have opportunity of traveling abroad, we see them in pictures with their wives wearing trousers. Mm. Mm. Is it that we are saying don't wear it to church or don't wear it pata pata? Pata pata is at all. <laughs> in case you are watching from a different country. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a slang in Nigeria. Pata pata is at all. At all. Yeah. So Lord, you were in the midst of saying something before I, I interrupted. But yeah. I just want yeah. if mm. I, I may not have opportunity to say anything again. I just want people to understand mm. that you don't let anybody condemn you. Mm. You just stand upon the truth. Mm. What is the truth? The word of God. Mm. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, because if, if you listen to what people say, yes, uh, the whole thing that I wanted to say earlier is because we live in this world and you mingle with people mm. and then the believers are non-believers. Mm. And like you said earlier, you know, it's only people that know you 
probably that can condemn you mm. because they will say certain things that possibly maybe they have seen and they are thinking they are holding that mm. to make a case mm. while in god's sight he didn't even remember that something happened because mm. in the closest that you said mm. you have settled it mm. and then if if you said you are condemning and then christ came to redeem that which is condemned already Hmm. then where is the place of God? Where is the place of Jesus Christ? Hmm. And then uh, the issue of us living, yes, you will hear people say certain things. And because we carry flesh, yet we are not yet transformed hmm. until the last day that we appear. Definitely, there's a way the flesh will feel. That, that, that pain, yes, it will be there. But the word of God is the ultimate. What did the word of God say concerning you, about you? And then when you look at uh, when people say, you talk about ear as, the as, as, as the eye, because you see things, you hear things, that's subtle. The ultimate that I want to say is that amidst all these things that you're hearing and you're seeing, what people say, it is very important for you to choose people to mingle with mm. because it's key. Mm. I'm a living testimony, if not of this, or if not of certain people. I'm saying this because it will encourage someone mm. out there. Mm. If not for certain people that I find myself attached to them, which I see it as a blessing, and God designed it to salvage a particular situation, mm. I may not be here talking. I may be that person. Mm. Simply because what people have said from my immediate family to friends that you trust them, you mingle with them, you open to them to certain things to tell them so mm. that they will help you in praying. Mm. But they help you using that thing, condemning you, it. telling people that they don't even know you, mm. that they don't even know you. They are the ones suggesting to them, this is who this person is. Not even to people that know you. And they are saying, I ah, sure you know him now. This is this, this, the adding up. But mm. they are opening a new file to people that don't even know you, mm. condemning you so that when you go close, they will only, they will, they will perceive you with that thing. So they will not even give you a room. Maybe God have designed you to meet them for them to be rescued on a particular thing. But they will run away from you because of what someone said. So mm. the most important thing, choose people that you mingle. People that would add value to your life. Mm. People that will impact you with knowledge. Mm. Because all of this thing is, is, is lack of knowledge. Mm. Because people do certain things that today they are regretting. is because they didn't align themselves with the right people mm. that know the right thing, mm. the right word, mm. the right in interpretation of the word, mm. so that it will guide them. You know, as we grow, we all started from the family that we, we will start ta 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 ta. Mm. It's from there you start going to the to church, mm. meeting society, community, mm. to school, mm. to workplace. Mm. That is how our lives are, are, are being shaped. But mm. if you are not careful with people you mingle around, at the end of the day. Is regret that will lead people to depression that will mm. end up killing themselves. Mm. Count the number of people that fall in legumes that mm. kill themselves. Yes, it's mm. because people condemn them. Mm. And the worst part of it, they don't know their place in the word of God. Mm. So align with people that know the word that will help you. Even when people say it, they will remind you that remember God says this concerning you. Mm. Go back and check. That is God's plan for you. Mm. From there, you gain strength. Mm. When you said the Bible say, don't neglect the coming uh, together, the gathering mm. of brethren. It's so that iron will sharpen iron. Mm. Not that you come to a place where people will condemn you, that you make you think to go and kill yourself because you are feeling unworthy of living. Mm. So whatever we do, the word of God is the key. But as we live with people, choose people you move with. When you have people with negativity around you, run away. In fact, if you can take off in hundred kilo in 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 in, in, in hundred kilometer at once per hour, I think you should do that. Hmm. Joyce, final word. <laughs> in other words, flee, <laughs> flee. Well, it's it's not God's plan for us to live in guilt, in shame, in fear, in unworthiness because of our past mistakes or our experiences, and that is why Romans eight one says, 
that there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Mm. And if you're out there, you're living in a life of condemnation, living in your past sin, keep, keep reminding yourself of all of that. I think it's important that you know Jesus loves you, God loves you, that's why he sent his one and only son to die for you. And you that you think you are the judge, it is not your place to judge anybody or to condemn anybody for the measure you use to judge or condemn anybody, sin will be used. For you, we are Christians and we live to please God. Though we fall seven times, we rise again. Thank you very much for watching today's live. Have a great day.